Okay, so um, what you have now is a, a dashboard that is kind of good to go. I mean, it shows you at least uh, your, your very basic analysis that you can start to kind of use to make decisions. But if you want it to kind of look uh, presentable, you want to be sharing it maybe with a donor, with your boss, um, then you probably want to uh, just clean it up a little bit more. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I would do to this dashboard um, to clean it up. So one thing, um, I'm just going to change up my labels. Secondly, I don't like how, you know, surface water comes out with um, a little underscore under it that looks like computer code, which it is. It's from your um, your, your ODK or your Kobo form. Uh, so I, I would shift those out. Um, also, this is showing your absolute numbers. So, you know, um, almost 30 households said hand pump. Well, actually, I don't want to know just 30 households. I actually want to know what percentage of households. So I would shift it out for a percentage. Um, I think those are the basic things that I would do to kind of uh, just take this from looking like a pretty good dashboard to an excellent dashboard um, that actually tells people what they want to know. So in this part of the video, what I want to do is then show you kind of how to take this to the next level. Um, so what you're going to need to do is in your um, uh XLS form. So the questionnaire form that you use to create your um, ODK form, um, your, you have a choices tab. And in that choices tab, you, you have two columns named name and label. Now there is another uh, column, um, but I just want to focus on these two columns for this exercise. And what I want to do is um, save this. So save as, and I want to save this as a CSV type. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Uh, so I'm going to call this my choices CSV. Uh, so I'll save that. Now, if I go um, to my desktop, I should then see choices CSV. So if I right click on that and edit it with a notepad, um, I'm actually going to see it come up with all of these kind of choices that are from um, my ODK style. Now, what I'm going to do then is go back into um, my click editor. And I, you know, I have this very nice uh, short little script that we've taken and it's brought in my uh, subfield multiple choice answers very beautifully. Um, but what I want to do is I want to map um, you know, one, the computer code version. So I want everything that says scabies with a small s, I want to map it so that it gives scabies as a big s. And I'm using the word map because that's, that's the word that click uses. So if it says water underscore truck, I just want it to come out water truck, um, like a normal person would write that in English, not as a computer would write it um, with no spaces in between. <laughs> so um, coming back here, what I want to do is I like to just kind of add a new section. So I'm going to call this mapping, mapping tables. Okay. Um, and again, mapping is just what we, what we want to do. So I'm going to do mapping health issues. Okay. And then put a little colon. I'm going to do mapping um, water sources. And I'm going to do mapping toilet types, okay? And those are actually just table names. So when you write something with a colon at the end, it's actually just going to name that table. Okay, so in your mapping health issues, um, all you want to do is just put mapping space load. So normally we would just write load and then we would load some data. But this is a mapping load, okay? So, so click will know that we're actually just um, bringing in a, a table that is used to rename something else. And then we want to put star in line, space, and then an open square bracket. Um, and this just means we're going to load an inline table, okay? I'm going to put a closed square bracket and a semicolon. Okay, so in between these square brackets, we're actually going to put the, the mapping table. So we want to map the old 
um, written version to the new written version. And we can literally just go to this. We can copy um, the table of health issues, paste it in there, okay? And we already have that. Now, this just doesn't have um, column headers. So our column headers, uh, you want to be naming the first column. So the column that has the, the kind of code, you want to be naming it as the same column name as what's in your main table. Okay, so you want to paste that there. And then your second column is health issue type. Okay, so for example, um, this is now going to um, be able to help us map these old hygiene underscore health, or sorry, um, diarrhea with a small d to diarrhea with a capital D, or scabies with a small s to a capital S, for example. Um, so I'm just going to do that uh, then with these other two tables. have our three mapping um, mapping tables and we've just loaded them right in line so it's not bringing them in from an external source we're just uh, putting them right in there um, I believe you could actually bring these in from a CSV or from an, uh, an Excel file um, but I've just decided to put them directly into my click uh, script if I then want to go back to my load my subfield loads okay so what I'm going to do here is just modify these just a little bit so that we run um, we apply a mapping to each of these so I'm just going to put apply map and I want to apply the map of so one single bracket and mapping toilet type. So I'm just going to copy that. Comma. And then you just have to add another bracket here. And that is it. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that little section here and put it in front of my other subfields here and here and add the extra bracket here and here and I'm just going to instead of mapping toilet types we actually say one mapping water sources here and uh, mapping health issues is here okay so I've just used this little code apply map. So it should then map uh, my new names to my old name. All right, so now what you want to do is it's loading this in order. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all of these or cu cut them, control X, and I'm just gonna put them into a new section. So these are my uh, subfields. paste them and I'm going to just drag these after the mapping table. So um, what you can see now is I'm going to have my main table gets loaded, then I'm going to load my mapping tables, then I'm going to apply my mapping tables to subfields and kind of create these new subfields and I'm going to click load data. Okay so it's loaded those and then I'm going to come back to here and magically all of the titles are now um, in these beautiful new titles. Now what's special about this is I haven't touched my original Excel or CSV file that ODK has produced for me. Okay and that's a big thing is because a lot of times when you when you go to analyze your data um, 
you start fiddling around with um, Excel and you, you know, find replace and you do VLOOKUPs and you, you just try to manipulate all of that data within your CSV. And it means that you can't replicate it. And what we're doing here is we're creating a script that actually, if you go out and do that ODK form, you know, we've done 60 assessments so far. Well, we can go do it 300 more times and all that data at the click of a button, we just say load data. It will just take that original ODK file that we already have and load it into um, this file. So uh, it's just a really beautiful way to, uh, beautiful, easy uh, way, uh, consistent. Um, somebody can go and look at your code. They can see exactly what you've done, how you've broken it up. Um, you have a record of everything and um, it's just super, super simple. Um, but also just better quality than doing it within Excel. Yeah.